Sonic Frontiers came out last year as the most recent entry in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. To say people were hyped would be an understatement. It was a massive open world for Sonic to adventure through and it seemed to have a big story to go with it. So now the dust is cleared, I have arrived to answer the age-old question. Is the game good or was it just the hype? I'll start with the gameplay because that's the thing I have the most to talk about. As advertised, Sonic Frontiers takes place within five open zones. Well, technically four because one is a story segment. On these islands, you collect tokens to advance the story and seeds to advance your character. You can also collect portal gears to play cyberspace levels, but I'll talk about them in a bit. While on the islands, you will need to do one of two things. The first one is platforming. Usually, you have to parkour all around a massive structure, and as a reward, you get a token. These sections may get a bit janky, but overall, they are fine. That's if it's in 3D. For some reason, the game sometimes switches you to a 2D view, and I do not like these sections, as they are real pace breakers, and you can't even exit them because they lock you into that view. And I have no clue why they did this, because it could easily be re reworked into 3D sections. Next up is combat. This is easily the highlight of Sonic Frontiers. As you progress, you learn new moves, and it's very rewarding to use all your separate abilities and weave in and out of the combos. It's a bit like the way I play Forces, if you've seen that video. Now for the cyberspace levels. I don't like them very much. You get to them by using portal gears, which you get from mini bosses, which is a neat idea, but that's about it I can say for the positives. All you end up doing is playing through really mediocre levels that go on for way too long, restrict your combat options, and overall suck you out the main gameplay. Unfortunately, the sections are practically mandatory because they're the only way to get portal keys, which are a key story item. Now, the rest of the review is full of spoilers, so skip to this timestamp to see my closing thoughts. What I wanted to say was about the story. I think it is done very well, and I wouldn't blame you if you said it was your favourite Sonic story. The dynamic between Sage and Eggman is cute, and all the characters are written very well, unlike the games like Sonic Colours or Lost World. I do feel like Sonic's corruption gets criminally underused, but it doesn't bother me all that much. Now to talk about the best part of the game, the highlight of the highlights, that being the boss fights. For each one you turn into Super Sonic and get to these massive titans while some of the best music in Sonic history blasts through your ears. But you can't get too distracted by the sick tunes because these fights do have a lot of challenges, especially on harder difficulties. I will say the final boss is a bit of a letdown though. Now for my overall thoughts. This game is definitely still good after the hype, but hype was a factor in the original enjoyment. Its main glaring flaw is that it's being pulled apart by cyberspace levels and 2D sections, like it's trying to be more than the thing it already is, when that's great. Those are my opinions. Remember to subscribe as it helps me out a ton. On that note, I've been Pathetic Ivy and I bid you farewell.